Hi, everyone. We are Lachi Malala. And we are back with another music video reaction. This one by request from Laws. Sorry Yay. if I'm saying that wrong. Yay. <laughs> and um, the request was for 17, Fallen Flower, which is their second Japanese single that came out at the end of March of last year. So pretty much right after everything went to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and look at I have, them. Wow. Yeah, right? I have never seen any or heard any of 17's Japanese music at all. So I have no idea what to expect. Yeah, I have no idea what to expect either. Um, you know, and Japanese, the Japanese market may be different from the Korean market. So I have no idea what kind of sound um, that's going to come out from them. So that being said, let's just jump into it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Wow. Oh, okay. It's very pretty. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a flower. Oh, mm. now they're in chains. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Very different concept that you like. Yeah. I like the soft beat. Mm. The set's really interesting. Yeah. And this is a very different, this sounds like a different song right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's burning. <laughs> oh, look at that. I know, I'm really interested to know what's happening there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very beautiful. I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I love all the over-the-top aerial dancing. The, the sets are so interesting. Yeah, they're very elaborate, and the costumes, too. Mm -hmm. like the flower heavy sets and then it's like barren desert set. Mm -hmm. oh. Are they the same world? Or like, did you walk through a mirror to get the other one? Oh. So many questions. <laughs> Those hands are really scary. I mean, I know they're just thorns, but yeah, they're really freaky. It almost looked like it was like the flowers were sucking up from the barren world. Like, is the world that world barren because the flowers are like stealing all of its energy or all of its life? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm like probably getting way too deep on this. <laughs> that um, sounds very deep. <laughs> wow. I have yeah. a lot of thoughts. What yeah. do you think? Yeah. So <laughs> I, I feel for the chains, I, 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 Again, like I feel, well, not again, 
but I, I've seen it in other music videos when like um, other members are bounded by chains. I feel like that is a metaphor that they're bound together, you know, like they have some sort of connection together. Um, and I get that feeling, you know, from that here, you know, like, because it kind of, kind of runs, um, cause it seems like other members too, like they're connected in different ways. There's some of them that are connected through chains or like with the thorny hands, you know, or, <laughs> you know, so, um, yeah, it, it, it's really interesting. What, what really captivated me the most was actually the sex. Um, I really, really love the gold set. You know, I think that's probably one of my favorite, um, sets that they have, you know, like it, the drapes and everything. So it's, it's very beautiful. And, um, even at the ending sequence, when they're all standing together with like the, you know, the flowers, like going down on them, like the, the what, what do you call that? Petals? <laughs> petals. <laughs> See, and you, you took it as petals falling down and I saw it as stuff from underneath going up. Yeah. I mean, I could be wrong. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying it, it's open to interpretation in that way, which is interesting. Yeah. So, um, I, I don't know. It's just uh, so interesting. Like I did feel like, so for me, I mean, I've only seen a few 17 videos mm -hmm. and mostly they were like, dancing in like you know jerseys or something yeah so to me this seems very high concept yeah like there's a lot going on there's obviously like a really intentional story um it definitely felt like two worlds and they were connected but I wasn't sure if one was real and one wasn't maybe mm -hmm. it almost felt like the chain world the dusty world the the sad world maybe felt like reality and the mm -hmm. flowery beautiful gorgeous gold cloaked world was what they want but maybe not what they have mm -hmm. um I could be wrong I don't know but that's kind of what it looked like to me and I did feel like they were seeing themselves in both places yeah but they seemed trapped in the one that was a little more um Dark. dry and desolate yeah um and yeah for me I, I first of all I love old school like uh, movie musicals so I love anytime you get to see the choreography from above looking down I love mm -hmm. that style I love how they were making the flowers and making the shapes um, I just think it's really cool and it's something that you literally can't see on stage you can only see it with a camera yeah. so it's a very specific type of dancing that I think lends itself really well in this mm -hmm. kind of arena yeah um, so I really liked that I really to me yeah at the end what I saw was the flowers sucking up um, because it didn't, I don't know, to me, it seemed like it was going up, not down, which was really, because then that made me question the whole, I was like, maybe I've got this whole world wrong. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it was almost like, I wasn't sure if, did this world used to be great? And another world is like taking all the joy out of it. You know, I don't know. I, I honestly have a lot of questions. So everyone give us your theory <laughs> down below, because I'm really not sure. But just speaking generally, I thought, not only was the hook really, really good, mm -hmm. I actually think this might be my favorite song that I've heard by them. Mm. Um, it was really catchy and I thought it was really pretty. Yeah. Um, I usually think of their songs as more like upbeat danceable, which doesn't mean mm. they're not pretty, but this to me was more, it was almost like a ballad, except it was upbeat, <laughs> which was yeah. awesome. Yeah, it had like a, a softer feel to their usual, I guess, like the, the upbeat music that we're comparing to like left and right, you yeah. know, so it, it it's definitely it was a softer. very different feel. Yeah, I, it, I'm almost surprised it's the same band. Yeah, um, you know, but that's cool. They're getting to show a different side. Yeah. I mean, I, obviously I enjoyed the concept, even though I'm confused. Yeah. I loved the sets. I, the costumes were unbelievably gorgeous. Yeah. Um, and then the song really, it lent itself to all that stuff. I felt like you could have that hard and soft because of how the song was. Mm -hmm. I did think it was a little interesting that there was like that breakdown once or twice where it like kind of basically dropped into a whole different song mm -hmm. where it was like a real ballad for like yeah. two verses. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The first time it was a little like jarring, but then when it happened the second time, I was like into it. So I think it's just, it was a surprise. Mm -hmm. um, 
but yeah I actually I really like this one <laughs> yeah. thank you for recommending this I thought this was really cool I feel like I need to watch the video at least five more times because I don't know what's happening <laughs> I just know there's some sad bits and there's some happier bits <laughs> yeah yeah it most definitely um yeah like there there were different sequences and there are scenes where like even some of the band like one of the band members right he was like floating and you're wondering yeah. why he was floating the way that he did and know? was he one of the ones who was in chains or was he like in that room with like the you know the room where it looked like string but you were obviously like it's some sort of jail cell that's not just string you know yeah or are you know are the jails metaphorical are those in their heads I don't know. I'm getting crazy here. I have so <laughs> many theories. Um, yeah. And like you said, since it's for a Japanese market, I don't really listen to a lot of like J-pop. The only Japanese tracks I listen to, honestly, are Korean artists doing Japanese tracks. Yeah. So I don't really know how the market is there, what they're more into, you know? So yeah, I just thought this would seem like a really big departure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, like, um, I don't know what the Japanese market likes now. <laughs> I but knew, you did. I did. <laughs> uh, like, I'm not going to even date myself, but <laughs> a, a while ago. A while ago. A little while. Ago. Yeah. But um, yeah. So this this song is just very interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Like, um, for me, like, I I don't quite understand the concept either. As I mean, it's it's beautiful. Like, um, I don't mind that I don't fully get yeah. it. Yeah. So. Um, which is completely fine, but I, just visually, it's just very beautiful, you know, very like, like, even though I don't even know what the concept really is, like, I have an idea what it is, because uh, I feel like it's about connections to people. Um, I know that's very broad, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, everything comes down to a core, you know, synopsis, yeah. and that could yeah. be it. That's the elevator pitch, right? Yeah. Pretty much, you know, <laughs> and just one line connection <laughs> or one word, one word. One so, word. um, but, but yeah, um, but visually it's, I, I really enjoyed it. Like everything down to like, even their choreography wasn't like, so, um, it, their choreography is just very fluid too. Like, even though they're yeah. like small little movements that they did, it, it's like very graceful. <laughs> like there's yeah, something it was about graceful it. and softer. Yeah, like I think of them as being very precise, which isn't a bad thing. That's a great thing. Yeah. But precise is also like sharp and hard. Yeah. And this, like to your point, was more graceful and flowy. And yeah, I also thought they each got a chance to shine on their own a lot more. Normally, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm always seeing them mostly in a clump. Yeah. So it felt like they got a lot more individual chances to shine in this video. Yeah. Yeah totally a hundred percent so yeah but i i really enjoyed this recommendation yeah. thank you thank so you much, so much. <laughs> <laughs> good yeah. one yeah um and it's it's really cool um always listening like a you know another uh korean band uh korean band even though that there's like a chinese line but yeah korean <laughs> man um seeing like a different uh language obviously japanese so um but it goes to show you like how versatile they are because they've been ar around for a while you know so um to see a different side like this is really cool so i i, I like it so so far uh so far so good so <laughs> we're we're hitting 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 heading <laughs> <laughs> heading towards that carrot train so um all right you guys so thank you so much for watching and um yeah i can't wait for the next one so we are La La La. and we will see you guys next time Annyeong. Annyeong.